Camões is probably the biggest name in the history of Portuguese literature, and Descalça vai para a Fonte is one of his best known poems. It's one of those that everyone has had to read at school, and it's a love poem about a woman called Leonor going to the fountain to fetch water and about how beautiful but vulnerable she looks. But more importantly, because that's the whole point of this video, it talks about what she's wearing. So let's look at that. First, the poem tells us that Leonor is barefoot. This isn't because she's poor, like in some interpretations I've seen. It's just a way of suggesting some nudity without being vulgar. That and the fountain, a common meeting place for young lovers in medieval poetry, kind of implies the possibility of some sexy times ahead. The next thing that's mentioned is a scarlet belt or sash. The word Sinta can mean both those things, and both are seen in paintings of the period. But more about that later after we put on the other layers. The first layer is the underwear. The poem doesn't mention it, but if I'm making a wearable costume, it's got to be there. A smock is enough here. I could also make a Spanish fartingale, it would be appropriate for both the period and place, but not so much for the social class, which in this case would be a middling or lower class woman. Then we have the kirtle. This is a layer that goes right on top of the underwear. It supports the bust, shapes the upper body and provides structure to the other garments worn on top of it. About the kirtle that Leonor wears, the poem only tells us that it's made of camlet. About the color of the kirtle, Camões says nothing, but I've decided it's going to be green because that's the first color mentioned in the poem. For the top layer of this outfit we have something called vasquinha. This one was tricky to figure out. Portuguese dictionaries say it's either a tight-fitting jacket or a very full skirt or petticoat. But according to a 15th and 16th century clothing glossary that I found, it's a tight-fitting jacket. But what does it look like? Camões doesn't help, he just says that it's white. I could make a doublet, it fits the description and there are plenty of patterns, tips and beautiful examples online. But it looks a bit too English. And in the 16th century there weren't a lot of English influences in Portuguese culture, so I don't think it would look right. So, looking at some Portuguese art, I found a few different examples of what I think a vasquinha might be. And I think I'll make mine after this one in this painting of the Martyr Saints of Lisbon. Lastly, the poem mentions the head covering, or better, a head covering. Toca is a generic word that doesn't correspond to any specific headdress. Again, the poem offers only vague clues. It says that it shows the throat and a bit of braided blonde hair, and somewhere there's a red ribbon. I couldn't figure this one out, so I've decided on a headdress called trançado, because the word is close to the word entrançado used in the poem, and because it's one of those headdresses that just looks so simple and cute. And now back to the belt. As I said earlier, it can be either a belt or a sash. The poem only says that it's made of scarlet, and in the 16th century that wasn't just a color, it was a type of fabric, but apparently not the same type of fabric throughout Europe. But according to Portuguese sources, it was silk. And that's enough of an info dump for now. Let's start with the smock. The smock is a very simple A-line garment with long sleeves. It's made of white linen and constructed from rectangular and triangular pieces of cloth. I decided not to add any decorative details like frills or blackwork embroidery to keep things simple and fast. After all, this is just the underwear layer of such a big project, there's no need to spend a lot of time on it. Then, of course, I immediately undermined that decision by hand braiding the laces and hand felling all the seam allowances. It took forever, but it all got done in the end. And here it is! Some sexy potato sack lingerie ready for the next layers. <laughs> 